Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax. I am back today with a review of a top loader binder. I actually lucked out a little bit. The SMG Quest over on his channel uploaded a video about his own top loader binders and left a link in the description about where you could buy one. And uh, so I followed it, picked one up myself, figured, you know what, why not review one myself? Uh, try and help the members of the community uh, figure out if they would like to purchase something like this as it is a, a rather uh, interesting and unique binder. Uh, only one group uh, one company sells these as far as I know um, so I will leave that link down in the description for you guys so you can follow it if you choose um, but I'm gonna go ahead and review this myself give you the pros and cons and uh, hopefully you can make that decision on whether or not you want to buy so let's go ahead and get straight into it I'll start off with the pros uh, first thing I want to mention more than anything else uh, this was packaged really really well uh, the box arrived um, on my doorstep and uh, it was well packaged packing peanuts the whole nine yards um, so they definitely know what they're doing in that respect. That is very much a good thing. No problems on that end. Um, something else I would like to point out, the actual cover of the binder does something kind of unique that uh, Ultra Pro and other generic binders really don't do too much, is they have a padded front, which uh, gives a better feel to the binder, and quite frankly, it looks a little bit better as well. Um, it's it's set up pretty much in the same way other binders are, um, with the exception that, of course, this is padded. So that's something that is nice as well. When you open the binder up, the binder is actually set up in a very interesting manner. Uh, the triple rings, me metallic triple rings that they uh, use in these kinds of binders are actually not located on the spine. They are located on the backmost part of the binder. The reason they do that, or at least the reason I believe they do that, is uh, so the weight of the cards doesn't pull on this spine and these little seams along the sides here don't rip as an immediate um, response because if you've had binders for a lengthy amount of time uh, especially ones that, that sit upright um, you'll notice after a while these seams will in fact rip and uh, kinda causes the binder to fall apart so by doing this putting the binder rings on the back end of the binder uh, you avoid that problem in its entirety so that is very much a good thing uh, very good uh, structural design if you will so let's get into the binder and the pages a little bit themselves. Um, as you can see, each page holds six top loaders, so up to six cards each. And as you guys know, I, I do Pokemon, but uh, if you had sports cards, it'd be the exact same deal. It holds sports card. It holds whatever fits into a top loader, essentially. So if you're not necessarily Pokemon, um, this is just fine. So I figured I'd throw that one out there as well. Um, I know it's only uh, six to a page. You can, in fact, stack um, two top loaders into the back of um, each page if you want to. I don't suggest this at all because what happens is you stretch the pages out quite a bit, and after a while, the page starts to kind of uh, bend and break a little bit. It gets very loose. The cards don't stay in as well, so I don't suggest stacking two top loaders um, to a single page sleeve. Um, I would definitely recommend avoiding that, but uh, you, it can in fact be done should you need um, the room for it. So that is something to uh, point out as well. Uh, it's interesting how the individual sleeves of the top loader are actually designed. Let's see if I can avoid the glare here, but you can see there is a there's a bit of a notch here in the upper right hand corner, and it'll be the same deal on the left side. There's a notch up here as well. And what what that notch is doing is it keeps each top loader in its individual sleeve. I'm actually pushing up on this top, top loader right now and it's not coming out of the sleeve itself. Um, the way you get the top loaders in and out is you actually uh, take them out uh, from the side. It's very very difficult for them to fall out so if you were to drop it or shake it or something like that it would be incredibly difficult for the cards to come out. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, insert a card right now. See how I do this one-handed. All right, you just open up the page, and as you can see, put it in from the side and uh, smooth it out, level it out, and uh, that card is good to go. So that's how that works. Um, rather like the binder myself. Um, when I bought this, I bought uh, 40 pages. Um, so 40 times 6 I believe is like 240 cards total so the binder will hold 240 cards that is very much a good thing um, especially if you have large collections uh, with lots of expensive cards so something to point out there now I gotta go over the cons first con uh, when the binder arrived uh, picked it up 
it wasn't loaded, no cards in it whatsoever. Really heavy off the bat. It, the binder has to be at least three pounds without a single card in it. Um, you can choose how many pages you want to get. Honestly, what you need is to buy 40 pages. Um, that's what they recommend. I do believe on their website. You can check it yourself. Um, you can buy more or less pages. Um, send them an email, of course. They'll, they'll figure it out for you. But 40 is recommended as um, that will fill out the binder. I have seen fully loaded binders of these. 40 pages, all you need. But um, yeah, heavy binder. I would estimate by the time you fill this thing out completely with top loaders, soft sleeves, and the cards themselves, the binder is going to weigh at least 10 pounds, um, maybe a little bit over, a little bit under. Depends um, on what kind of cards you're putting in there, of course. But uh, very, very heavy binder. So I do recommend these binders. Uh, just kind of stay at home. Don't travel with them a whole bunch. Um, this is not the kind of binder you want to use to like take to a friend's house or take to a, to a card show necessarily, as the weight um, is, is very much an issue. Um, that said, the pages are very durable and all that stuff is um, well put together, um, but weight is definitely an issue and a factor here, so there's that. Uh, the other thing I noticed that would probably be a con for most people, the binder by most standards is not cheap. The binder uh, after shipping, the buying the pages and the binder itself uh, all came down to 46 bucks. So. Um, not exactly cheap in terms of binders. I've seen binders much cheaper than that, but uh, quite frankly, I've, I've always been a believer in the saying, you you get what you pay for. This is not a cheap binder, but it's very well made, and there's only one group of people that, that do this kind of work. So, um, expensive but well put together. That's the best way I would put it. Um, if you're a high-end collector, this binder is probably for you. Um, top loaders generally do an excellent job protecting the cards. Um, card saver ones do it a little bit better, but generally you have to keep them in a box of some sort and there's no real way to display them. With the binder you solve that issue, you can flip it open and flip through it and show off to your friends or who, or whatever you want to do. Um, obviously much better for display purposes, but um, if you're if you're just kind of collecting for the heck of it or you're not real serious, this binder really isn't for you, um, probably not worth the investment, but it uh, ultimately is a nice binder. So. Uh, hope that uh, helps you out guys I hope you can make a decision on whether or not you would like something like this um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below uh, if you're watching this video on planet poke please be aware that I do not get comment not notifications so you may need to PM me directly on my channel feel free to do that I'm on YouTube several times a day so I can ge generally get back to you quickly so um, thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, I'll have another upload again soon